Hey guys, it's Super Duper Cooper in the Garage Gym today with Garage Gym Reviews, and today we have something ultra special. I have been waiting to review these in depth for quite some time. This is a product that I have experience with. In fact, I have so much experience, I dropped it off a parking garage to see how much they hold and to prove how they held up versus the ad that they had for them. And the product we're reviewing today is this beautiful display dip behind me. These are the Aleco Evo Dumbbell. These are quite possibly the best designed dumbbell ever created. Let's get into it. Here at Garage Room Reviews, we review a lot of handheld weights. We've done reviews on pretty much every adjustable version of weights that are out there, from kettlebells to dumbbells. We do reviews on fixed dumbbells, but the reality is, for most home gym owners, I definitely suggest an adjustable dumbbell. These are not a dumbbell. I'm just gonna say this from the start. For most of you, you'll realize that just because they're a Leco and they're probably pricey. We'll talk about that in a moment. But you will probably understand like most people don't have the space, the money, all that sort of thing for this level of quality and just for a dumbbell set that goes from five pounds to 100 pounds in five pound increments. Most people are better off getting one of our suggestions for adjustable dumbbells. That said, this is a different type of product. This is very similar, the best comparison I can make is a lot of guys that are into hobbies, they spend a lot of money on their hobbies. And for every hobby, there's the brands that are kinda at the top. And the same thing is in home gyms and just fitness equipment. These are designed, I wanna make this clear, for a professional and commercial environment. They talk about that ad nauseum in all of their marketing and everything. That said, for those of you that like the very best in life, the creme de la gym. This is it. This is the this is basically the pinnacle. Now I'm going to show you another option that this compares to, but this would be similar to somebody that's buying like a Porsche 911 or a Ferrari or Lamborghini like they want the absolute best. This is the premier product and you're going to pay for it. But there is a level of expectation that comes with a product that is that good and this I think can meet it. This is designed as a full fixed dumbbell set that comes in two varieties. The first variety is a fixed handle. I only have one of the fixed handle style because the other handle style I have only starts at 12 and a half pounds. So this 10 pound is a fixed dumbbell. It still has a similar vibe and everything, but it's a fixed handle. But the reason I think most people would buy these is for this version right here. And this is the version that I have all throughout the dumbbell rack there. This is a rotating handle version. So as you can see, this head is fixed, this spins. So you can rotate it like this. As we see in more expensive dumbbells, they rotate and there's a few benefits to that. And I wanna make it clear like it's an unnecessary thing. You're gonna get just as strong, just as big, develop just as much muscle mass with a non-rotating head. It said it is more comfortable. And if you're lifting with barbells, nobody buys barbells with fixed ends. They buy them rotating. The reason for that traditionally was for Olympic weightlifting. And well, people are doing those sorts of movements with dumbbells. So they're doing dumbbell snatches and that sort of thing. And this allows you to do that. It provides a more comfortable lifting experience. And it just like allows the dumbbell, it feels different when you're using it. It's not dramatic, but it does feel different because you're not having to like overcome that inertia with that big head on the end curling around as well. It's a different feeling. And I've heard for people with shoulder injuries, not something I currently experience a lot of, but I've heard it can be beneficial for that as well. But this was designed from Aleco to be their top end product. So everything about it is like meticulously designed. And actually I talked to the president of Aleco at their Ursa booth and asked him like, how do you guys think about design? What's the thought process? They mentioned a guy named Dieter Rams and Dieter Rams has these 10 principles of design and it's all about eliminating, eliminating, eliminating until you have an essential product. And this kind of meets that design. It's not like crazy flashy, doesn't have a lot of extra stuff, but what's here is very thoughtful. And most people I don't think would recognize from the outset, but somebody who trains a lot and reviews ton of products, you start to realize. So the rotating handle is obviously the big marker. The other thing is like the diameter of the handle. It's a 
38 millimeter diameter. I have other dumbbells that are thicker diameters. I actually have one, a Watson set, that's 50 millimeter handle. It is freaking fat. Honestly, so fat that it feels uncomfortable to use. At heavier weights, just because I'm a mortal man, I can't like row 50 millimeter handles at 100 pound like dumbbells. It's just too thick, I can't hold on to it. This is a good medium. It feels more comfortable in hand for presses and all those different movements, but it's not overly large so that when you're doing rows, it's just like hard to grip. It does increase the pumps on the forearms without making it like just egregiously hard to use. The other thing is rather than using like a stainless steel head like these, these are the competitor for these, which also feature a rotating handle, a much like bearing, they move much faster. That's not necessarily beneficial. Like we've talked about that in barbells for years, but the heads on these are made of stainless steel, which is nice when they come out of the box. The problem is when you actually start to use them in an environment where you're doing dynamic movements and you're dropping them and they're hitting things, they're hitting each other, they start to mar and scar and scratch and get ugly and things like that. They're indestructible, but that doesn't mean they're gonna be pretty for a very long time. And actually, personally, although I prefer just like the burly look of the stainless steel, it just looks cool, the reality is over the long term, if you're buying this set, you're gonna have it for a long time. This outer coating of urethane is going to look better and protect the dumbbell and whatever it's touching longer than the stainless steel that you see here. The other thing is they've got curved ends. The reason they do in curves, it seems like a basic thing, but it's so that when you get it on your, resting on your leg, it's easier to come up when you're doing a dumbbell clean or you're doing like sitting back for a press. It just feels more comfortable on the leg. The other thing it features is rather than having a round head, it's rounded, but then it's got basically these platforms. So I don't know if it's a didectagon or whatever the, however many there are here, but there's a lot and it just allows it for it to stay in place. Whereas when I use my Watsons, they're typically rolling all over the gym because it's just a round head. The reason they do a round head in this is because of the way they machine it. It's just easier to do. Another feature, the number markings. So number markings here on front, but they also have them embedded in the urethane. So you can see it in a contrasted color, no matter if it's on the floor, or if it's on a dumbbell rack or wherever it is, you're gonna be able to see exactly what weight increments there without it being like blasted out. And then lastly, this was pretty surprising to me. I thought this was an imported product. I mean, it is imported to the US, but these are made in Halmstad, Sweden. Which I'm sure like they like, you know, absolutely love being able to put that on there. Like that's not there just because that's where Aleiko's based. It's also where these are freaking made, which I think is pretty cool. One other feature is the knurling that's on the handle. Most people don't think about knurling when they're looking at dumbbells. They're just like, oh, I'll just take whatever's out there because most of the dumbbells that you buy are hex head, rubber head dumbbells, and they just have this concave shape that's pretty much, they don't think about knurling, just throw it on there, slap it. It's all different between amongst dumbbells. This is very similar, and they say it uses the same Swedish steel as their barbells. So the knurling on here is fantastic. I would say more than passive, it's more of a medium grip. It's not aggressive, but it does have some tack. Combine that with the 38 millimeter handle. They've got two neural marks here, so you know where your hand is in relation to the ends of the dumbbells. So you not only see it, but you also have the tactile feel. It's just easy to place your hand so it's balanced. Honestly, for a dumbbell, this is a fantastic knurling. I think it's gonna work for people that really like are going heavy and they want something that grips really well, but it's also gonna work for somebody that, you know, they don't want their hands getting nasty. It just works very well. Now I've talked about all the features of these dumbbells. There's probably other things too. These are an expensive dumbbell. I wanna make that clear. Like these are, when we're talking ex like comparisons here, I compared them to a, higher end sports car, because that's really how these are priced. You always know that something is priced expensively when they are generally used in pairs, but they're purchased in singles. I mean, when you buy a pair of socks, you don't buy a single sock. Maybe you do if you're buying like a Gucci sock or something. I don't wear Gucci socks. These are purchased individually, and for a 25 pound I want to say pair, but for a 25 pound individual dumbbell, it's $223. It's a lot of change, man. $223 for a single, which means you gotta get a pair that doesn't include shipping. Now, are these that much better than the dumbbells that cost less? No, it's like anything in life. It's like 
everything operates on the curve. So like the more it gets better, the more it gets expensive, it's incremental improvements. So this is incrementally better than another dumbbell that's out there, like a hex head. It's not, you know, world changing, although the price has to increase more than that. So for most people, these of course are not an option. But for those of you that want a set that's gonna last the rest of your life, you're gonna enjoy using, and like you want the best of the best, these are them. Personally, after having a full set of Watsons and really coveting them for years, really wanting a 50 millimeter fat grip with the knurling and the spin handle and the stainless steel head, I vastly, I wanna make this very clear, I vastly prefer Aleikos. Like, I do, I think they're, they're not, there's some parts of this that I like. I like the stainless steel head, but these are much more practical. So if you're looking for a dumbbell to fit in your gym, in your home gym or commercial gym, like, and you want the best, these are them. You're gonna pay for them, but these are the absolute best design dumbbell I've ever used. They're fantastic. All right, this coupe from Garage and Reviews. Man, I talked a lot about a fixed dumbbell, but there's a lot here. So I'll continue to use these. These will probably be sitting there for the rest of my life. I also said that about these, and I bought those like six months ago. So we'll see. This is Coop from Groucho Reviews. We'll see you next time. Peace.